bro, you guys are trying to get me canceled. Is it okay to have a preference of race? International couples agree or disagree. Okay. Listen. Yes, it's okay. Like, it's just the truth. Okay, dude. Here, You know what the biggest problem here? You know what the biggest issue I think that we have? Is that we try to justify our preferences to people. Like, in the regular world, the way things work is you look at somebody and you go, Oh, I'm attracted to them or I'm not tra attracted to them. That's pretty much it. Now, then we try to, like, investigate. Well, why? <clears throat> probably just because, like, I don't know, people you grew up with probably have a big factor. So if you grow up a bunch, around a bunch of white people, you're going to be more attracted to white people. If you grow up under, around a bunch of black people, well, you're going to be attracted to black people. Um, you know, whatever. I'm sure there's a bunch of factors. Maybe part of it's biological, you know? Like, I like, um, you know, I kind of like uh, unique faces. It's kind of a thing. I like uh, I like noses a lot. Like, I like Mama Gut's nose a lot. It's very unique, and it's like... It's like a, it's it's a little it's a little Jewish, uh, and you know I'm a, I'm ethnically Jewish, and so like there's probably a biological factor there. Uh, so you know what I mean, like, but it doesn't matter because you don't. Have, I hate this. I hate when we talk about stuff like this because it's like we do it all backwards. If somebody walked up and be like, hey, if somebody walked up to you and be like, hey, you want to go on a date, and you said no, the next question is shouldn't be like why is it because I'm black or like why it's like well I don't know it's not really into you you know I don't have to ju justify it. Chill out, dog. You know. But we're gonna investigate it, and let's let's get it going. Bedroom. If race sprinkles, it is, is come on, dude. You got like probably like you got like fucking lacrosse player Kevin over here. Like this kid's gonna be like weirdly racist. But into that context, what, what do we think of that? Like, like how would how would race be put into the bedroom? Use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Did I not call it? How would race be put into the bed? Use your imagination. No. What the fuck, dude. I don't know why I felt like I, I don't know why I felt like freestyling that lyric like I poopy you know but like it came to me I'm sorry I have unintentionally been racist towards my partner um let's see yeah I've called my partner like an Irish asshole before <laughs> I think she's part Irish um or something like that I guess sure I don't know three it's all white people stuff two, though so it's fine you know what I mean one go do they date people outside their race? I don't understand. I've definitely, I've definitely been uh, like. What's the context ignorant. here? So we were. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down. So yeah, we we had we had an argument. Yeah, it says black black men are very attractive. Is that okay to say? Yeah, why wouldn't that be okay? If you find a black man attractive. You say black men are very attractive. <laughs> I was upset, and I had previously expressed how the. Stere the stereotype or the stigma on angry black men or angry black women and how that makes me feel. And so we got into an argument. I was an angry black man. <laughs> but in that moment of anger, he actually called me an angry black man, which- Which is like the worst thing made to say. me go <laughs> crazy because um, that, you know, that was like the one thing that I, was, that I talked to him about. Um, so, you know, that was a real- some people say it's fetishizing. I feel like the difference between predator, uh, predators, <clears throat> preferences and fetishes are really just like the level of respect. So like, for instance, people are, some people are attracted to overweight people. Then some people fetishize overweight people. And there's usually a, a, an association of hatred with it. Um, if you look, if you watch some of these, like my 600 pound life things, some of these people are very like mean, like they want to feed you to like, because they like, you're disgusting kind of a thing. And so like, that's kind of what I would say is a difference between like a true fetish and, 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 uh, is the lack of respect fundamentally. So like, it's okay to have a preference as long as you're respectful. Really bad fight. Um, and it never happened again. <laughs> right. I feel like, I mean, I strongly disagree, but I think as just a white person, I oh stop dude we are ignorant dude shut the fuck up oh dude she's like yeah i've never been racist now she's like actually since i'm white i'm inherently so i think i'm gonna i because i'm white i'm inherently ignorant bro i want you guys to know like on the internet twitter sphere it's like white people are so ignorant bro everybody's super fucking ignorant everybody we're all ignorant none of us understand each other okay white people black people we're all ignorant like we don't we don't we all mean most people mean well but sometimes they say some weird dumb shit why, why, like, you know, it's one of those things where generally people aren't, um, people aren't educated on like, things that aren't their sphere. They're usually like, people are all bubbled. 
You know, so nobody like you don't know my struggle. I don't know your struggle. Now your struggle might be worse, but like fundamentally, you don't you know you don't understand what it's like um, to be me. You know, and that's not like oh my god, I'm so you know whatever oppressed. My point is is like. Stop. Stop with the woke bullshit already. I moved to somewhat agree. Dating a black man has completely opened my eyes more than I already thought they were open, you know? To be fair, you've never said anything that made me feel like, damn, she's... Oh, they're all dating or something? No. <laughs> I'm from the... Okay, so that, that was her boyfriend, and he was like, yeah, you've never done anything to me that was, like, racist. So she just decided that she was racist, and the, the person she was dating was like, yeah, no, you, you've never been racist. Uh, like instant like instant uh he just toppled her wokeness instantaneously bay so it used to be in my vocabulary where i would say the n-word with the a i would rap it i would i would do just those things but um my True. slang in I general would just tick her off and then um i became conscious of it and i really liked her or i still do of course i love you um <laughs> i started uh changing the way i speak i feel like that's, she should be nice. over here too um oh it's all interracial couples well that one black guy was speaking as if he was broken up with another guy so i kind of assumed they were all different people i didn't get that from Who there do uh asian accents <laughs> <laughs> the only time that i feel like i could be offending asian people is when i'm mocking you what is that do i lean more left or right more left when you're mocking sure. your mother <laughs> <laughs> There it is. So, so I only do the accent when he does it, making fun of his mom. Before that, I never did that. So. Okay, guys. So we're gonna do. I feel like that's not like racist. I make fun of my girlfriend's mom too. I don't. She doesn't have like an accent. Uh, she's just annoying. But that's like all mother-in-laws, you know. Something different. This is called hot takes, and basically, okay. we let our audience submit hot takes and assumptions that they make about interracial relationships. Oh. <laughs> Really hot. Oh boy. <laughs> what is, how hot are they going to be like do you like to use whips you know what i mean like how bad is this going to be like you know within bad context you know what i mean sex gets steamy since you are interracial <laughs> is it I, that's a weird question that question is almost racist like that question is like almost racist to me it's like why would people of different colors fucking why would that make it more steamy than your average couple, average, uh, I don't even know why I use it, like any, I don't know, same race couple, you know what I mean? Like what? That's a bizarre I mean, I question. I think it adds to the I like appeal. the differences between us. I yeah, know. definitely. I mean, there's not like any weird role play or anything, <laughs> but yeah, definitely, you know, makes it fun. He's probably like, oh, give me that big black dick, you know? That's that's fair though. If you like that kind of shit, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, I don't know. I feel like it's all the same. I will say, like, when I'm not with you, people will like be like, "Oh, like, I know why you're with the black guy," and it's like that's like super disrespectful because it's like that's like definitely like on the line of like fetishizing, like, right? A right. Race. Well, I mean, like, is it true though? Like, honest question. Like, do you like is? Listen, bro. It's not the worst stereotype that you could have put onto you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's not many uh, sexual stereotypes about white men. <laughs> but, like, walking down the street, especially um, dating an Asian sure. woman, like, I get looks from men all the time. And, like, oh, like... Yeah, I mean, there's, like, st there actually is a stereotype from, like, uh, white guys who date uh, Asian women. They're usually, like, assholes. That's a stereotype that they, like, try to, they try to date Asian women to be, like, 100% subservient to them because Asian women tend to, like, be, lack of a better term, like, regressive. <clears throat> so like you can kind of be a little like a, a kind of a dick and they'll do whatever you want you know right and like like people like actually like calling me out while i'm right next to her interracial relationships can be a fetish and that's okay if it's love too uh i mean i talked about this before i don't know if fetishes can necessarily i mean i guess that's it depends on how you define a fetish i don't know some people like to be disrespected in bed so maybe it's okay <laughs> You know what I mean? Like some people like to be de de degraded. So if you have like a fetish for, I don't know, something and both partners enjoy, one of them enjoys being humiliated and the other one's okay with it, then okay. <laughs> Even if you love the person, you just fetishizing that person is uh, like good at all. Yeah, it. and you're devaluing the entire community. S some people like to be devalued. I'm just being, I mean, it's an outlier scenario, but you know, you, you know, usually people that like to be humiliated have some kind of trauma associated, like, in their life or some kind of trauma in their life. 
But like that trauma exists, and a lot of times people try to turn their pain into pleasure. And so if they like to be fucking uh, humiliated, or, you know, who the fuck am I? So in itself, I think there's always room for growth. So I can understand if it starts as a fetish, and then along, you know, the relationship, they actually fall in love with that person, and they realize that okay, it wasn't okay for me to initially just like you based off of that. If it's between two consenting adults, the freak stuff in the bedroom. If race sprinkles is is put into that context, oh god, what what do we think of that? Like it's just bro, like is he like yeah? What if I pretended to be the slave master? Like is that what he's asking? Like Jesus Christ, it's in the bedroom, or is it like possible to just keep it in the bedroom? How would how would race be put into the bedroom? Use your imagination. And I'm <laughs> it doesn't even matter if you're consenting or not. It's still wrong. Yeah. Right. Uh... Like you got. You want to say that stuff, you want to do that stuff because of the stereotypes you have mm -hmm. of those people. Maybe. Um, but that's not, the, the question isn't is it right or wrong. The question is, is can the fetish be loved too? And I think that, yeah, it can be. And that doesn't really sit right with me whatsoever. That's fair, but. Uh. I have always wanted mixed babies. Three, two, I, one, go. I w I've always wanted my babies to be a mixture of my cum and the girl's egg. That's it. No. <laughs> like I don't give a shit. That might be uh, a, that might be a little weird if you want mixed babies. You know, I don't point know. in my life, I kind of wanted to have mixed babies with almost every race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's weird, <laughs> but I just wanted. I, I'm real into genetics. I would like to see um, how my kids would turn out. And uh, <laughs> never race. Jeez. Without a father? Like, what's the question here? Are you gonna have like 50 kids? I wanna have one kid with every race. Like, how the fuck are you gonna take care of those kids? As a mixed race person myself, you don't have a group of people to really be around. I mean, sometimes you connect with one side, sometimes you connect with another side, but for me, it sucked actually a lot. I've accepted myself. I'm black and proud. I love the fact that. I have both of these cultures and I really don't care. Their culture? I just have to teach my kids that because of your skin tone, you What's either gain culture? privileges or lose privileges. Like I've had people that- Everybody has a different privilege. What I will say, it's very interesting that like when a white person and a black person have a baby, that baby's always considered black. You never notice that? Very interesting. At work, very like interesting. we'll be talking about ourselves and they'll, I'll show them a picture of Ivan and they'll be like, oh my God, I totally wanted black babies like when I was like a teenager. And it's Why? just like, this isn't Build-A-Bear, like right. this is a human, like right. what the f so. This isn't build a bitch, okay. And I actually have an eight year old uh, mixed child. <laughs> it's been very challenging, but I've had to stick it out because I'm, I wanna be a good father and I care well, about what's my What's the challenging? It's not challenging because they're mixed. I'm assuming it's challenging because you're gay. That's not even an insult. I think he's actually gay. And you have a kid with a woman, I'm assuming? My kid, um, so. This isn't Build-A-Bear, this is real life. <laughs> and in my mind, I wanted to have kids that was exactly my skin tone or very close to it and look like me, because I am conceited as well. <laughs> Where the hell I'm gonna find somebody to do that? You fuck your mom, bro. Sorry to say it, but that's all you can really do is you're gonna have to fuck your mom or your sister. <laughs> and it work out and they're just the perfect wife. I don't, I don't believe in that anymore. It's funny because that was actually something we talked about when we first started dating that became an insecurity of mine. I was like, so why are we dating? Because I cannot provide absolutely any of that for you. And so I, I understand, like I said, why he feels that way, why a lot of the black community feels that way. Um, so I'm just glad that I'm accepted now <laughs> in our relationship for that. This girl's a little weird. <laughs> People don't seem to be particularly fond of her. Look at this guy's face. She must be doing a lot of extra shit off the screen, you know? She's probably like kind of like like extra, you know? <laughs> I sometimes feel like I portrayed my own race. Okay. Three, two, I hope the white guy says one, yes, because it'll be funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. It's very interesting that like black people, because they're all black that said yes. It's very interesting that black people feel like they're betraying their own race if they date white people. Like honestly, and this might sound like ignorant, but it seems like there's some kind of deep-seated like racism in the black community. Like that's like anti, like, I don't know, white almost? Or maybe like anti even other people. I don't know if it's just white people that they feel disappointed. Probably everybody because there's only like one white guy there. But it's like an interesting that like nobody else puts that much of an emphasis on race, but like a lot of these people do. And maybe that's just them. Maybe it's not like a black thing. Um, but, you know, from what you, some of the stuff that you see on 
social media and stuff, it seems to be that there's like a, a lot more uh, emphasis in like the black community on like being black. Uh, so I wonder, I wonder what that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I definitely feel like that, man. I feel like, especially where I'm from, I did my people a disservice by playing into that stereotype and knowing what I stand for now. What? It's hard for me to feel like I'm going to be taken serious in the future if I ever want to speak on controversial topics. My people won't respect what I say because like it doesn't add up my views and stuff. And then I just I'm dating somebody outside of my race behind the scenes. I feel like I lose respect in a way. Me growing up, like I was never always seen as black, whether it was because of how I looked or how I talked or my culture. But then when I get with someone who's not black, right? They're like, oh, you're betraying us. Oh, like I get comments in my DMs being like, oh, Alex, you're not with us no more. Right? Is Alex famous? What the fuck? Right? And I'm like, do you want me or do you not want me? You know, I, it doesn't bother me if you don't want me. And I, I understand it is what it is, but don't pick and choose and don't nitpick little things, right? If you want me, to be part of your community then accept me for who I am. Don't say that I'm all, oh, because I'm half, I don't get to participate in certain topics or certain discussions. I'm not, uh, you know, at the sake of sounding ignorant, it seems like there's a lot of gatekeeping in, in, black, in the black community based on their perspectives that they're giving us. Being linked to another race has its benefits. Three, two, one, go. Sure. Um, I guess I feel like the word like linked kind of confused me because I feel like experiencing another person's experience, like what their culture, like the way that they live is definitely personally beneficial. But I think that like in terms of how others view me because I'm dating a white man, I don't find that beneficial. Like I feel like people might have like preconceptions about who I am because I'm an Asian person who's chosen to date a white man. Yeah, I also, I had a- Probably gonna think less of you because again, there's like a stereotype that like white men that date Asian women are gross. Question for- I guess other people like do you ever feel like being with a white person like sh could shield you from like discrimination or like that they could like stand up for you in a certain context like if you were in I feel like it's pro I mean maybe but I also feel like it seems to be there's a situation where like you date a white person you get invalidated like it seems to be a negative to date like a white person based on what these people are saying like an altercation with uh, the police or something like would having oh. a white person there Oh like well go with the police yeah you got like your you got your shield just put your hoodie on, let the white guy do the talking, like, hello, officer. <clears throat> hello, officer. That's all you really have to do. Happens all the time. I get pulled over by a police officer, and he's like, oh, excuse me, sir. And I said, sorry, sir, I'm just a little tan. And I pull my sleeve up. And he's like, okay, you passed the test. <clears throat> you passed the test. I was like, okay. I know. And then he apologizes to me. Um, it's always a man, because the women know not to talk to me. You know what I mean? Like, that's a, like a woman never, if a woman ever pulls me over, I'm like, Get your superior officer on the phone, man. You know, I'm not, I don't respect women. I'm never, I'm absolutely, I'm never gonna listen to a woman who pulls me over. Say, excuse me, get superior officer. I actually don't even say it to him. I have a pre-written card, <clears throat> and I, I, I barely open the window and I slide the card through the window, and uh, I don't actually let them grab it. I, I put it within the window and then I tap it with my finger, you know, so it like flies out and they have to bend over and pick it up. Because I don't respect women police officers. And so they'll bend over, they'll pick it up, and they'll go, I'm so sorry, sir. And then I just ignore them. I just stand straight and I just wait. You know, and then like a superior, like a male officer will come in and he'll say, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, you know. I'm sorry I let this one get out of line. <laughs> fucking bad. This is such a bad rant. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'm <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was, a, that was such a bad rant. Okay. Well, let's see. That was obviously a joke. Let's get this going. Sure. Yeah. Right. Sure. It would be helpful. In that sense, I, and that's what I kind of thought of when I heard the question and I was uh, listening to you. It's just like, I don't know, even a, a customer service experience. I don't know. Just random experiences where the other, the person on the other side might judge me based on me being black. Listen, here's what I'm going to say. All right. And you're all thinking it. This guy, like, if, I, if he was on the phone, and I was, if I was on the phone with this guy, I wouldn't assume he's black. I would assume he's gay. So like maybe that your experience isn't that you're black. Maybe people are, it would be that you're gay. Because I mean, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's a black guy on the other line, you know? But like, that, that's a gay dude. You know what I mean? But, you know, versus someone else Just calling, honest or, with you. you know, him calling. And, you know, it's a whole different experience. So they might treat Is it really? you know, us individuals Why? differently. So there might be a whole different experience just, based on if like if this if this guy said that I would be like okay I get it 
But I'm not, again, I'm not trying to be rude. This dude just sounds gay. He doesn't really sound black. I know it's like, what does black, be black being black sound like? I don't know. They were talking about it before. I mean, there's stereotypes. I don't want me to fucking tell you. I'm not the one who created the sound black stereotype. Like, leave me alone. I just live in this fucking world, okay? Give me a goddamn break. Not just that. I feel like an outsider with my partner's family. True. Three, I do a little two, bit. But I feel like that's normal. One, go. I think they should have said, I feel like an outsider with my partner's family because of my race. Because I feel like a lot of people feel that way. So, I'm sorry, Grace. In our lives, especially today, recently, politics plays such a huge part in it. And um, because you come from a conservative household, mm. it does, that's, that's fair. different from where I come from. Okay. And it does make me a little bit uncomfortable to know that I'm going to be meeting people and have to have close relationships with them. And they don't value what I feel like I value in my life. I, you know, I'm not even going to go there. I just feel like some conservatives are super fucking annoying. Right? Like the other day I was at my, like, I was with my girlfriend's family. And uh, my girlfriend's mom dates like a, an Indian guy. Um, and like he's from India, like he's not like a Native American. <clears throat> and like they'll ask him like really weird, like annoying questions, like, "Oh, how do you how do you like being in America? It's really great, right? You love our country, you know." And then they'll start going off about how like other people, um, like I don't appreciate the country enough, and it's like uncomfortable. It's like, bro, like because he's an immigrant, and like he's like, "Yeah, I love it here," blah blah blah. And then they have like these weird conversations that are just super fucking annoying. And he's like, hey, and then like, like all the condescending too. He's like, hey, you know, this person here fought in the military. You know, he's respectable. It's like, dude, you're talking to him like he's a fucking kid. Conservatives are kind of annoying. All right. Now you guys know, uh, so are progressives, but fucking conservatives when it comes to this shit more, are honestly more annoying when it comes to like different family members, I would say. It's fairly annoying. Um, he's actually the first. Like asking those questions in that way. It was like the tone as well. It's like, so it's like, it's obviously uncomfortable. Like, if I was singled out and asked questions like that, I'd be like, dude, stop fucking talking to me. Like, that's weird. Um, but you know, I wouldn't say that. I'd be like, oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. you know what I mean? That's what I would really do. I'm not, <laughs> like, I'm pretending I'd be like, fuck you. I would just be like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I would just continue eating until I hoped that they would stop talking to me. First black man I have ever dated, and the only person of color within like my family just in of itself and so certain members of my family um with the same political values as us like had to kind of confide in me like hey we support you with whoever you date like we're here for you so it was interesting to kind of see the different sides oh, bro, you want to know what the fucking truth of the matter is bro let's get some white families they don't want you dating a black guy and they're just they, it's, there's nothing to do with blm <laughs> okay it's, let me just tell you, most conservative fam, like not even conservative, like most families that are concerned about the race of the partner of the person, of their like daughter or son, it's not because like oh they support BLM and I don't like that institution. It's more like hey, I actively call black people the N word with an A or something like, or just, you know what I mean? Like that's the kind of energy family you're getting. You know, it's very rare that someone's gonna be like, all right, well I have a big disagreement with BLM and you're dating a black guy, so it's like no, you. Probably just don't really like black people too much. ...of my family members that I didn't necessarily know. When I met uh, her father for the first time, we were walking to get food, and we saw the uh, Ronald Reagan Museum or something like that. And I haven't like, heard her talk once. Oh, yeah, I love Ronald Reagan, right? And you can have your own personal Mute, opinions on uh, presidents, but Ronald Reagan was like, he's like the main reason why black people are incarcerated. He's not a very good person to black people. So I was just kind of cracking up about that, and I was kind of awkward, and I know you kind of bit your tongue on that as well. Yeah, it was hard to not say anything. But I'm pretty sure my understanding... And shut the fuck up, conservatives. My understanding is Ronald Reagan kind of just started set the pace for, for like, uh, was like class inequality, with a ton of like loopholes with paying people with uh, stocks and whatnot. You know, and it's just stop citing sources in my comment section already. I'm not gonna, re I'm not gonna look at it. You're just barking at the moon. Shut the fuck up. I, w I was thinking about saying something to maybe like be like, oh, I don't know about that, but I didn't want to like argue with your father on the very first day that I met him. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you bringing this up? On the, not him. Why the fuck is your father feel so emboldened? That's like another thing. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like if you're dating, uh, that's another thing. You know, you got people. My experience, white people, that they like, they bring up the most unnecessary shit like the first time you've ever met them. It's like, what do you think of politics? Maybe we don't talk about that. Why do you feel the need to like gauge my political ideology? You know what I mean? Like that's what it, that's it's like a little a little got a little racist undertones there. <laughs> I want to make sure you're one of the good ones, kind of energy, you know. I don't know if I can exactly truly connect with them because of that. 
he he's a very nice person, obviously, and he makes me feel comfortable. Damn, he's going to watch this and he's going to fucking hate you. Who I am as a person. I would say I somewhat agree because um, with my partner's family, there's a language barrier. So um, I guess it's my responsibility now. Just to get a uh, Google Translate. But sometimes when we're together, Done so. they're talking. I have no idea what's going on. So I think that's a bit of why I feel like an outsider. But other than that, I feel welcome. I wish we were the same race. We are, guys. We're all the human race, dude. Okay? Our skin color is a social construct, bro. You have to understand that. Like, you gotta wake up, man. The government's trying to divide us, dude. Trying to set us against each other. Trying to pit races versus races to distract us from taking away our rights, bro. They don't really care about us. I don't know, I'm like doing like my meme voices, but like actually, it's kind of all true. Like, <laughs> so. go. What did we ask? <laughs> Um, I'll start. I feel like uh, that would just be the default easiest way to navigate through life. <laughs> so, actually, funny story. <clears throat> so, reincarnation is actually the truth. It's real. And every single time I die, I, um, I'm asked by uh, God or whatever higher power in this scenario. And he's like, what, do you, what color do you want to ask? I'm going to do white again. So I just don't really feel like dealing with it, you know? That's what happens every time I die. I'm just like, white, please. I don't want to, like, I watched another guy. I don't need to experience that hardship. So, you know what I mean? That's kind of how it goes. Um, uh, but definitely, obviously, growth happens when you're um, in interrelational relationships. But yeah, that's kind of why I chose someone or someone agree. Um, yeah, I guess, it, like you were saying, like, I just feel like it would be easier in some aspects. And then for me, just like being mixed race, I have felt very, like, disconnected from my culture, so I feel like dating someone from who was like Chilean or who was Korean would help me. But I also agree, like obviously if, if you weren't white, you wouldn't be like you. And so I don't like wish that and. The benefits outweigh like what I gain. It kind of sounds weird coming out because it's like, what do you guys get out of dating white people? <laughs> Are they censoring the term white people? It kind of sounds weird coming out because it's like, what do you guys get out of dating white people? Like, it's weird, but... Like, white people are being like, we learn a lot. I think it's interesting that everybody's saying that they feel it's easier, because I feel like it will be more difficult, me having a black man and raising a black family, that it would be more difficult if I was maybe with someone who was white. Um, it would be difficult to raise a black family if you were white, because you would be, wouldn't be black anymore, yeah. Um, who could probably... Oh, well, I guess if one of them is black. Yeah. ...if it's in other ways. I'm, I'm grateful for my husband and <laughs> I love being with him and I think there's okay so she would have to be black to raise a black family quite literally because he's not black I don't think I don't know maybe he is I don't know shit a lot of benefits um just culturally and guys that is officially a rap hey is that a racist joke saying it's a rap just because I'm black doesn't mean that I'm a rapper okay great ending to that was a good joke to end this segment with that was really funny <laughs> clap for me Good job, Papa Gut. You only came off slightly ignorant in that video. You're doing better. Thank you.